Hi everybody, this is Gatsad for the Sad Truth. It's been a while since my last postmodern reading, and so I thought that I would head off to uh, the Twitter account at Real Peer Review uh, to check out some of their uh, uncovered articles. And I came across this gem. So this is published in a, a book titled Religious Experience and New Materialism. It is part of the series Radical Theologies. The title of the book chapter <laughs> is Becoming Feces. Yes, Feces. New Materialism and the Deep Solidarity in Feeling Like Shit. This is academic work, people. All right, it is, uh, here's the abstract. Quote, pure energy is being itself, which is an absolute materialism, materialism degree zero. But energy plus one, plus two, <laughs> and so on, is material complexity, a folding of being on itself. It is becoming thought, becoming time image, becoming a brain, close, closed quote. These words help to conclude the chapter Being a Brain in the recent work by Clayton Crockett and Jeffrey Robbins, Religion, Politics, and the Earth, the New Materialism. In this, their ontology chapter, Crockett and Robbins draw on Catherine Malabu's concept of neuroplasticity. As Crockett and Robbins note, for Malibu, quote, plasticity indicates a form that possesses three characteristics, the ability to give form, the ability, the capacity to receive form, and most importantly, an explosive plasticity. It's explosive, all right. It's called verbal diarrhea. The charge of an autodestructive aspect of form itself, close quote. Since the brain is an always in-process plastic entity, Crockett and Robbins's being a brain is unlike Hegel's assertion that being is thought and that it attempts to break open the dualisms between matter and thought and conscious and non-conscious. The metaphor of brain, then, for Crockett and Robbins disentangles determinism, stasis, and immateriality from a sense of being that is tied to thought. Becoming brain marks <laughs> an inventive being, a being capable of creativity and destruction. Whoa, this is some deep stuff. I am clearly ill-equipped intellectually to understand such profound, wonderful verbal diarrhea. And so uh, I guess they're pretty right about uh, the feces part in their title. Unbelievable that generations of students are being polluted with this nonsense. Have a good day, everybody.